So how do I reconcile that uh, I came to a, a large religious group, any religious group, mm -hmm. and I ended up on the short end of the stick. I accepted as guru unqualified person or priest or whatever. We're not going to qualify it. Uh, why, you know, you're saying there's this gracious grant from above. Yeah. Why did my circumstance in our tradition lead me to a Kanista guru who ended up abandoning me? Uh huh. Yeah. How do I reconcile that? Well, there's a couple ways to uh, to think about that. I think, um, and uh, it's not a new phenomenon, but um, because Jiva Goswami himself talks about it, so we're dating back you know hundreds of years. When he says, "Here's the definition of a guru." Brahmani Upashamashrayam. He quotes Bhagavatam, right? Smatpani Shrutriyam Brahmanishtam. This this kind of idea. Hmm? Um, he or she is Shrotriyam Shabde Pare. Shabde Pare. Tanishnatam. Shabde Pare means. Shabde means the sound, right? He's familiar with the sound, and Pare actually means Bhagwan. It's actually a description of a Vaishnava guru. It's a Bhagavatam verse. Section is in the 11th canto, is speaking about Bhakti. So, Shabde Pare. He's understood from Shastra the, the Godhead. Hmm? Bhagwan. Well, this is theoretical. Subde Parayat Nishnatam Brahmane Upashamashrayam. He's delineated well upon that, and so it means well versed in the, the theory. Hmm? Without which, he or she can't answer the questions of the disciples and retire their doubts. Hmm? Of course, their doubts have to be such that they're retirable by the citing of the scripture because bhakti is about, the eligibility for bhakti is faith, and it means faith in revelation. So if I can't answer your doubts by citing the scripture, then the problem may be yours, because you don't have faith in the scripture or revelation. So that's another thing. So it has a certain, you know, this, we're, doing, we're doing a certain thing here, you know. So um, anyway, so... So, Shabde Parechanishnatam, you understand the scripture very well. And the second thing, then, has the realization, Brahmani Upasha Mashram. Hmm? Hmm. So, then he says, you, but there, sometimes we may accept gurus and not like that. Hmm? We shouldn't, we should, he said, we shouldn't have done it. We say, well, I was told to do it. So, well, they shouldn't have told you. <laughs> you know, two wrongs will make a right. Just don't tell me what, you know, just, I'm telling you now, do it right. Hmm? That's basically what he's saying. He, he says, so he says, it's not entirely wrong. Hmm? They may not, you may have accepted a guru who's not fully qualified, hmm? according to this basic uh, definition. Hmm? Now, he says, it doesn't have to be a problem. He says, it doesn't have to be a problem. Um, You know, let's say you're on the battlefield and you get wounded. So you got a medic who comes and says, you know, do this, tie that, you know, with a knot, you know, give me a, give me a match, you know, <laughs> you know, and he does something and patches it together and so on and so forth. And now limp off to the hospital, go see a doctor hmm, and get the whole thing cured and so forth. So the medic has some value. Hmm? It has some value. He helps. Hmm? He's done something, you know, and and, uh, and uh, so forth. So uh, now, it, it, when 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 we come to the point in a situation like that, when we realize I need more, hmm? um, this person I accepted as a guru. He gave me basic Vaishnav teachings, and. I was inspired and I learned something. So now I'm finding that the fountain is, you know, you know, drying up. You know, there's, no, there, there's, there, I, there's nothing to drink from there. And it's not working. And, and so his, his lack of qualification, the medic's lack of qualification as a surgeon, as a doctor, 
is starting to, you know, to show up. Mm -hmm. And if I don't get to a doctor, I'm going to get, you know, gangrene here, and my leg is going to fall off or something. So, so then Yuva Goswami says, so in circumstances, you know, why that happens and so forth, there could be any number of reasons in our background and so on and so forth. He basically, Jiva Goswami basically relegates it to, well, you know, you didn't examine close enough. Um, but then you say, well, I didn't know I was supposed to examine more closely or what, you know. So anyway, so you didn't know. So, 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 so we move on from here. Hmm? That's all. Th and, and he says, so what you do is then you take shelter of a guru who has those qualifications and can fully help you. Hmm? He becomes your Siksha guru and there's no problem. He says, but then there's something else that might happen as well. And, and what's that? Um, he says that, that that guru should be honored from a distance. But if he also starts to show bad behavior, hmm, and in the worst case scenario, he becomes envious of other Vaishnavas who are more qualified to help you and teaches that you shouldn't hear from them and so forth. He said, and, and you should... And, and you should take initiation from a qualified guru. Now you know but better, hmm? and now you're in a better position to understand who's, who's a qualified guru, and so you should take initiation from that person. This is the, this is the teaching.